What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your crank angle sensor o-ring and how to set your ignition timing. Our neighbors have also decided to provide some background music for today. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover on this video. I hope the audio comes out okay. Let's get started. The crank angle sensor, or CAS, is located on the back of the valve cover. This job is nearly identical for both the 1.6 and the 1.8. The only difference is the cast is on the intake cam for the 1.6 and the exhaust cam for the 1.8. I went ahead and removed the engine lifting hook so you guys could get a little better view. The first thing you want to do is unplug the ignition, the cast, and the O2 sensor and anything else that might be in the way. Even though I'm going to be setting the ignition timing once I finish, I'll show you this method for getting the cast back onto the engine without the timing changing. I just want to check mine afterwards because I've not done it since I bought the car. You never know if the previous owner did it wrong before you and your timing is too far advanced which can cause detonation and engine damage. Next remove the 12 millimeter bolt that holds the cast in place. Once you get that bolt out the cast can be removed with a little finagling. After pulling it out, pay attention to how this piece is oriented. It can only go back into the cam one way, so when you're reinstalling the cast later, you want to set it up just like it was when it came out. You can see the amount of oil on the bottom of this thing, which is an indication that it's been leaking. To remove the old cast o-ring, carefully take a small flathead screwdriver and just pull it off. I try to clean all of the surfaces the best I can with a rag so there's no dirt left in the o-ring groove. Here's your new o-ring, you can simply install it by hand. They sell the rings by size. The one you need is 1 8 inch by 1 and a half inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch. So remember, you want to orient this the same way it was when it came out. After that, just pop it back into place. You'll get a little resistance from the o-ring, but if you're pushing pretty hard and it won't go into place, that means it's not lined up with the cam. It might take a few tries. Line your scribed marks back up. Then just reinstall the 12 millimeter bolt, plug everything back in, and don't forget the engine lift hook. There are important engine grounds bolted onto it and you don't want to start the engine without hooking them up. If you are checking your timing, you'll need a timing light. Oops, where'd that come from? There we go. Hooking up a timing light consists of hooking up a positive and negative cable and attaching an inductive clamp. I hook my negative clamp right up to the throttle body. Since the battery is located in the trunk, you have to hook the positive cable directly up to the alternator. I'm going to zoom this in from far away so you can see where I'm looking. You want to have your negative battery terminal disconnected while hooking up the clamps. Underneath the intake manifold you'll see this black cap which you have to uncover. Just go ahead and put that clamp onto the exposed stud. Make sure the clamp is not touching anything else or serious electrical damage could occur. The final step is attaching the inductive clamp onto your number one spark plug wire. In order to set the timing, you'll need to put the engine into diagnostic mode. This process is for a 1.6, so consult your manual to see how it's done on the newer cars. The cap of the diagnostic port has a diagram on it of all the pins. You'll need to install a jumper between the GND and the TEN pins while setting your ignition timing. Hook the battery up and start your engine. I'll zoom this in as well so you can see exactly where to look when you're setting your timing. I painted all of the marks so they'd be more visible. Now aim the timing light down at the marks and pull the trigger. The light will flash when the number one spark plug fires and illuminate the mark on the crank pulley. You can see that the base ignition timing is about 12 degrees advanced. Some people advance their timing for more power, but since I'm going to be boosting this car in the future anyways, I'm just going to set it to the factory 10 degrees for now. Now watch very closely and see how much I move the crank angle sensor. Very small adjustments are needed here. If you're looking at the engine from the front, you rotate the cast clockwise to retard the timing and counterclockwise to advance it. If you're not sure which way to go, just use very small adjustments until you figure it out. Now you can see I took away about 4 degrees and got it all the way down to 8 degrees of advance. I need to make a small adjustment the other way and I should be right on target. There's the 10 degrees I was shooting for. 
Don't forget to tighten your 12 millimeter bolt when you're done. Hey guys, that's about all there is to replacing your cast o-ring and setting your ignition timing. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos. See you next time.